Hello internet friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm doing a room tour for this video. I'm about to move into an apartment for college, so I decided why not show off my room before I start moving things out into my apartment. And I finally decorated it just the way that I like, so I figured I might as well just document it before it all gets messed up. With that being said, let's just get into this. Welcome to my room. When we first come in, on this wall right here, I have my little trash can. I covered it in marble contact paper. I have a little spare charger in case I want to charge my phone when I'm over here. And then I have this stool that I got from the flea market. I think it was like $15, maybe $10. I don't know. I like to keep my medicine on it so that every night when I take my medicine, I just come over here. Next to that, I have these two shelves that are side by side. So on this first one, I have all of my craft DIY supplies from when I did DIYs, markers, pens, crayons, just things like that. And on this shelf right here, I have all of my old notebooks, a bunch of books that I can still read, and then empty notebooks and stuff like that. And then on top, I decorated this one the mirror and some other decorations. This one has my TV on it. Pretty nice size. I barely use it, but it's there in case I want to. Then I have this little mini bookshelf. I actually got it from my dorm, but after I moved out, I brought it back here. And on this, I keep my extra paper, some stationery, and my old textbooks that I need to sell. And then on top of it, I have this, I don't even know what you would call it, scene take thingy. And then after that, I have my whole desk. I covered it with marble contact paper because I thought it looked nicer that way. Right now on my desk, I have my planner, this lamp that I use to keep pens and stuff, and it's also a good source of light, my laptop, some books that I'm currently using for my summer classes, some more pencils and pens, and that's basically all that's on the surface of my desk. Right above my desk, I have this cork board that I just hung up earlier today, and it's very useful for hanging up to-do lists and things like that. And then on the wall over there, I have a poster that says, Have You Loved You Today? I got it on Amazon when I moved into my dorm last year. That pretty much covers the entire first wall when you walk into my room. And then on this side of my room, the first thing I have is this chair that goes with my desk. I have a little blanket on here in case I get cold. And then this whole wall is basically just my two windows. So I have these black curtains that are ruffled they're a little bit see-through, which I wish they weren't, but I still think they're really cute. The view from my room is just my backyard and a lot of trees. For the last part of my wall, it was kind of blank, so I hung up this poster that was in my spring literary magazine from my school. Someone from my school made it. It says protect trans youth and I thought it was really cool. And then I have this random dream catcher that I got years ago. Moving on to the next wall in my room. The first thing that I have is this little nightstand. I've had it ever since I was little. All my religious stuff is in the top drawer. And then the bottom drawer is all my like YouTube things. And then right on top I have this on air sign. I got it from Michael's like three years ago, I think. Right next to this nightstand is a duplicate of the mini bookshelf that I had on the other wall of my room. And I kind of use it as a nightstand because it's right next to my bed. So on top I have like two TV remotes and then the remote for my lights. This little mirror that I really don't know why I have. And then I just keep my glasses, some random stuff, some books, technology stuff, and then some empty containers. I don't really know what this is. Then I have my bed. It's a queen size I believe or maybe a full. I'm not really sure to be honest. So my cat is sleeping on it right now. She comes in here pretty often. But basically I've had this comforter for a really long time. It's not the cutest, but it's really comfortable. Then I just separated it with all these pillows. It usually does not look this nice at all. On the wall behind my bed, I put up four different records that I found at the thrift store for 50 cents each. So I took my string lights and I just followed the pattern of the lights, made a little thing around it. I think it looks super, super cool. It took me forever to do. Next to my bed, I have my little makeup desk thing. Vanity, I don't really know what this is called. 
but I keep all my makeup on it and I have them all pretty well organized to be honest because I just don't like clutter. Then I have this little mini shelf which is also marble. So on it I have a bunch of glass items and just breakable things that I don't know what to do with. I really don't know what this shelf is. Then on the last wall I have my closet. It's not very big at all but I keep all my clothes in it and my dresser in it. So all my folded clothes are in my dresser and then my hanging up clothes are all on the sides and then the top is just reserved for storage. There's a lot of storage up there. And on the right door, I have this mirror that goes over the door. It's great for when I want to try on outfits and see what to wear for the day. Next to that, I have this little hook thing where I hang up all my main purses and bags. So these are the three bags slash purses that I use the most slash I think look the cutest. And then above that, I have another matching sign to the one that was by my desk. This one just says, find joy in the ordinary. It was also included in the set that I got on Amazon. Directly below that, I have my bin, which I keep my dirty clothes in. It's in this really cute pattern. It matches the little stool that I have for my makeup. I'm not really sure how, because I got them at different places. And then the last like mini wall, I guess, that I have is just this little thing. I put the album covers for the four albums that I have in my bed on here. So as you can see, this album cover right here that's all rainbow and magical is amazing. It's one of my favorite album covers I've ever seen and I just couldn't resist getting it. So that is all for my room tour. If you want to see how my apartment is going to look, then subscribe down below because I'm definitely going to do an apartment tour once I get set up in my apartment. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. out really weird.